welcome back welcome back in this one i'm going to be looking at the temperature sensor that's built onto the raspberry pi pico i already have my code here please do keep in mind once the website is up and running this code will be on the website as well so you guys will be able to download it and try it for yourselves first things first what do we do in this code let's break it down and again as you can see i've got comments for almost every single line first line says import machine import machine to make use of the pins because i'm going to be making use of pin number four later on so i need to import machine not machines then i say import u time import to allow python to sleep so this is going to allow me to pause my program so i can see what's going on for example and i say temperature so this is the name of my sensor i'm calling it temperature equals machine dot adc4 so that machine library is coming back and I'm saying make use of analog to digital converter pin and I'm specifying the pin I want to use, number four. Again, this is built onto the Raspberry Pi, but in later sections of this same playlist, I'm going to be showing how to actually connect to different pins, different sensors and what you need to change. Next, I've got conversion factor 3.3 uh, divided by 65,535. What this is, right? Some people get quite confused. The Raspberry Pi uses roughly 3.3 volts. So what's happening here, I'm converting the value I get from the sensor, so from the temperature sensor, back to volts. So that's why I divide by 65,000. This value here um, is read in as a 16-bit value because the Raspberry Pi reads in values as 16 bits. So I divide the voltage of the Raspberry Pi by 16 bits and that, that's how I get my conversion factor. This is something that's shown in the data sheet for the Raspberry Pi Pico as well. So this is not something you have to remember off the top of your head. Uh, the 3.3 volts, we know that's Raspberry Pi and we can always work this out. So two to the power of 16 gives us this number, hence 16 bits. Uh, again, a bit is the smallest measurement of data. So zero or one on or off. And because it's zero or one, we have two possible values. So if you have 16 bits, we have two possible values to the power of 16. Here I have an infinite while loop to run forever and ever and ever once I have electricity, once my PC works, once everything is okay. Now here is where I'm actually getting the reading from the Raspberry Pi, getting the reading from the temperature sensor itself. So I've called this one reading and I've said uh, equals temperature.read u16. And again, I'm reading this as a 16-bit value. That's why it says u16 there. And when I multiply this by conversion factor, I change it back to a, a value that I can understand. So the minimum value that you can have for temperature and the maximum value that you can have for temperature in volts or millivolts is what I get here. Then I say temperature equals 27 minus reading, which is what this is here, whatever number that is. Um, and then I say minus 0 0.706 divided by whatever that value is. Again, this is stuff I get from the Raspberry Pi Pico datasheet. So I'm going to actually do one thing extra and I'm going to print uh, reading just to show you guys the value we get and just to show you guys that this value won't be any use to us right now. Uh, R-E-A-D-I-N-G, reading. Uh, what else am I supposed to print? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I could print temperatures. No, I already print temperature down here. So let's do that. Let's do T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-U-R-E, -E -E, temperature. Uh, I believe that's it. So all I'm doing here, I'm do, I just want to know what this value actually is so that I can understand why I need to multiply and divide by all these values. Now, after that, I print the actual temperature value. So this is going to be in Celsius. Let's bring this back. I do u time dot sleep 0 0.5. So every half a second, my program is going to run, read the temperature and display it in the shell here. I'm not going to do anything with any outputs like an LED or um, LCDs just yet. I'm going to do that in uh, the following videos. So let's just run this program and let's see what we get. F5 on my keyboard. All right, so this is the value. The value that says reading is what I'm actually getting. But because I want it in a different form, this is why I have to subtract this. So for every change in voltage that there is, this is what we get. So every change in temperature that there is, this is what... Um, the difference in voltage is going to be and then from there on in I divide by this and I'll get the 22 or the 23. So to prove that this is working we're getting roughly 22 point something uh, degrees. I'm going to put my hand over it and that should start increasing relatively soon. There we go that's 23, 24, uh, let's see if we get to 25. 
there we go 25 degrees 26 hopefully yep 25.6 26 there we go so it it goes above 26 and below 26 but this is just proving that the temperature sensor is working if i remove my hand the values should start dropping there we go back to 25 and back to 24 and it will just keep dropping until it gets back to the ambient temperature of the room and of the chip so that's how the temperature sensor works i will put this code on the website if you want to get a better understanding of this i'll also put a website which i found that gives a really really good explanation of everything probably better than i've done here and i'm also going to put the link to the data sheet for the raspberry pi pico in the description as well so you will have all the information you need but if you copy this program the main things you need to focus on are the conversion factor is something that we can always remember or work out ourselves it's always going to be pin for for the onboard temperature sensor i think the only thing that we might not remember quite well is this section here so people should take note of this section and maybe this one as well but that's it hopefully that was helpful and stay tuned